Hello everyone. Welcome back once again to the Height of Life. Not my usual video I know, but I'm off at the moment with a back injury, so I'm unable to get into the hills and mountains. So people have asked me about some of the gear I use, thought I'd do a few reviews. Today we're talking about sleeping pads. I've got three to show you, all different seasons, so let's get on it. So the three pads I use are the Trekology Aluft UL80 sleeping mats, the Climate Interlated Static V and the Sea to Summit Ethylite XT Extreme. As you can see, they're very different in pack size, but there's a reason for that, uh, and we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so this is the smallest one out of the three. It weighs 750 grams, and its packable size is 18 and a half by 12 centimeters. It's made of 40 denim nylon with a premium water resistant coating. Uh, they claim it's a three season sleeping bag, so we'll get it pumped up. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like in more detail. I'm going to show you three different ways how I'd pump my sleeping pads up as well. So this is the first way. It's coming in a nice drawstring bag. You get plastic band around there to keep it all tight. Okay, so it comes with a standard 22 millimeter valve. You can just blow the air straight in. You don't have to worry about it coming out. And then in the morning, you just undo it. The air will rush straight out. Okay, so the obvious way to blow your sleeping pad up uh, is by your mouth. But after a big hike in the mountains, sometimes that's the last thing you want to do. But we'll go ahead and show you this way anyway. As you can see, the pad is all pumped up. I've left this valve open just to show you no air can come out. Then you just simply press to close it. And you're good to go. This pad does fit really nice in my tent. Uh, I've got the Wild Country Helm Compact One and also I've got Hilleberg Solo. I might put clips on the screen now of what they look like inside the tent. I'm about five foot nine, five foot ten. Um, so I'll lie on this now, show you what it looks like with me on it. That's got nice raised edges to stop you from rolling up. Catch you a side sleeper. So, I'll show you that in more detail now. So as you can see, it's got raised edges and that'll stop you from rolling off the pad in the night when you're asleep. And it does work very well to be fair. It's a very, very comfortable pad. It's definitely my go-to pad in the summer, but it has only got an acclaimed R rating of 1.6. There isn't actually any insulation inside it, but I've never felt too much cold, to be fair, especially in the summer. Uh, so it's very good in my opinion. Okay, so when it's inflated, it's 190 centimetres by 57 centimetres. On the Trekology website, these are £59.99, but I have seen them on Amazon for £39.99. And a link to this and all the other pads I'm going to put will be in the description in case you're interested in them. Right, let's get on to the next pad. Okay, so the next pad I'm going to show you is a Climate Insulated Static V. This is a four season sleeping pad. I use it as my three season sleeping pad, but I have used it uh, in minus temperatures and I've been absolutely fine. And I know people that use this as their four season sleeping pad and they've been perfect. This weighs 680 grams. You can get a light version, which is 567 grams. This has a packable size of 20 by 13 centimetres and the light version is 20 by 8 centimetres. It has an acclaimed R value of 4.4 but it has an AT SM value of 1.9 which I'll come to in a little while. I'm going to show you a different way of blowing this sleeping pad up. So we'll get to a different angle and I'll show you that. Uh, so when this is deflated uh, it does pack down really thin. And I should also tell you that Climate give you a lifetime warranty with this, so if anything goes wrong with it, they'll replace the pad, no problem. Okay, so this has a wing valve, so you can inflate it just by blowing into there. Then when you want to deflate it, you just simply flip that over and it'll let the air out. I'm going to blow this up using the flex tail gear pump. It's an amazing little pump and it does blow your pad up pretty quick. Okay, so you just connect your pump to the valve, simple double press 
of the bottom and it'll start to inflate. And obviously this will be a lot better if you've just had a big hike up the hills or mountains. You're a bit out of breath and the last thing you want to do is to blow your pad up by your mouth. You can see it's starting to take shape now. It is a really cool little idea and a little gadget to be fair. You can get the Tiny Pump X which also has a light built into the bottom and you can use that as a lantern in your tent as well. And when you're finished, one click, we'll turn it off. Okay, so when this is inflated, it's 183 by 58 centimetres and it's six centimetres thick. That's exactly the same for both the insulated static V and the static V light. This has a 75 denier polyester on the top and bottom and the light version has 30 denier. So probably won't be as durable, but that's why you save some weight. So I'm just going to lie on this. It says same height, show you what it looks like. This also has slight raised edges, which I'll show you in more detail in a minute. Uh, it's okay for side sleepers as well. Okay, so you can see the V shape that's integrated into the pattern in the construction. It provides a secure and comfortable sleep by centering you on the pad and inhabiting air movement while you're tossing and turning. I've had very good night sleeps in this and it fits very well into the tent. I've seen these online anywhere from 74 to 80 pound and the light version I've seen between 100 and 110 pound. So you spend a bit more money to save the weight, uh, but personally, it's pretty light anyway. And I've never had any issues. You can get an extra wide version as well, if that's something you're interested in, but this has been absolutely perfect for me. Right, let's get on to the next one. Okay, so this is the last one I'm going to show you. It is the biggest pack size, but it is a winter sleeping pad. They do two different styles. They do a mummy style and a rectangular style. They do a regular and a wide version of both. The regular mummy version is 720 grams. Uh, the wide version is 950 grams. The regular rectangular version is 950 grams and the wide version is 1050 grams. It has a 6.9 R value or it has an ATSM R value of 6.2. I have a packable size of 20 by 13 centimetres for the wider ones, or 20 by 8 centimetres for the regular, but it does include a pump sack, which I'll show you now. Okay, so first of all, undo this drawstring bag, pull out the sleeping pad, You can roll that out as normal. It does have a standard 22 millimeter valve, so you can use pumps, pop sack, pump sacks, or with your mouth as normal. And then inside the other end, it does have an included pump sack. I'll show you in a bit more detail. Okay, so on the end of the pump sack, you have this valve. If you put the pump sack the other way through the bag, it has a smaller valve, which you can use on pillows as well. And that just basically connects straight to the valve like that. Then all you do, about 30 centimeters away, just blow into it, fills up with air. You can pop that straight in. good thing about doing this as well, same as using the pumps, is it stops mould forming inside your sleeping pad. You can see me doing this here on our camp I had in the Peak District. It didn't take long at all and it was effort free, so always a bonus. And once again, Pop that straight out, no air will come out unless you flip up this lid, which we'll show you later on. Okay, so this is 183 by 64 centimetres, and it's 10 centimetres thick. It's got air sprung technology. It's absolutely by far the most comfortable pad I've ever slept on. 
I have tested the Thermarest Neoair Extreme, uh, which I borrowed of someone. I was going to get one of those, but this is on another level. So, so it looks like me lying on it. Absolutely plenty of room. Doesn't move. Even if you toss and turn, it's absolutely perfect. Even though this might not look like it hasn't got the raised edges, it does not stop you rolling off one bit and it has got slightly raised edges anyway. The other inflated sizes of the regulator is 183 by 55. Uh, the wide version is 198 by 64 and the wide version of this rectangular is 201 by 64. They're all 10 centimetres thick. Okay, so this pad is actually tested. The Trickology pad is tested, I believe, even though it hasn't actually got an R value. What we were talking about earlier, the ASTM standard, uh, it's a different standard now that's been introduced and adopted by the camping industry. So climate pads haven't actually been tested. What they are doing is they're listing the, both the current R values and the ASTM R values on their website and packaging until the pads have been tested. One thing with this is it is very expensive. Uh, these start from £185 and go up to £235 depending on which one you get. Uh, so yeah, pretty expensive but it's definitely worth it, especially going to be in them colder sub-zero temperatures as long as you've got the right corresponding sleeping bag as well. This will definitely help keep the ground rising cold vapours off you. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this little review of the three pads that I use and let's hope it's helped you select your two, three or four season sleeping pad if you're out hiking and wall camping in the hills and mountains. Okay, so thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Uh, please check out some of my backlogger videos and take care and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>